Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 15.5, and you'll see here I have a pad with some extra content on it. I'm going to try and re-record roughly what I did, but um, I was just trying to do a kind of a arpeggio, just like some single string notes to play along with the rest of the content. We're going to do what we were doing before using uh, external in and at this time I put the guitar amp sim on I don't know I just kind of like the tone put the uh, twin amp type drive a 25 put level at 80 I pulled the bass out at minus 100 although there's pretty much no bass content uh, put mid up to 40 and treble up to 100 so it's just uh, that with the classic clean guitar running on the garage band so with that said um, as usual, I'm going to resample. I'm going to go to pad 16, um, and we'll just kind of start playing these two. I'm not going to play any notes on the zero. I'm going to try and do like some extra pieces interspersed. I'm just going to try and get it right on the first try. If I don't, I've got pad 15, which we can try and use and see how that goes. Um, but anyway, let's see. Uh, just uh, maybe I wasn't up on the mic. Uh, I think that's it. Um, so if you come in here, we'll see. I started a little late, and there's a little bit of extra content on the uh, here with like the kind of from the reverb and the echo. Um, it would be perfect if we wanted this to be perfect. We would have to take this and loop it and probably play it a couple times so that we would get something to fill in in the beginning part of the uh, start here. I'm not going to bother with trying to do that. And if you want to see, this is basically what I, pretty much a similar kind of thing where I just played it before and then messed up my, whoop, I don't want to loop on. Um, I kind of messed up playing it, uh, rec uh, messed up not playing it, the, re the recording. Uh, I had hit record when I thought I hit stop and I don't know, just kind of goofed up. But I kind of like how that sounds. Either one's fine. Maybe it's good to have a couple variations just to be able to switch between. Um, so let's just kind of take stock. We've got four drum pads, four bass, although two are pretty much the same, and these two are pretty much the same. This is the uh, natural sound. This is kind of the distorted, overdriven sound. We've got a couple of, of the uh, chords on the guitar, and then we've got a couple of arpeggios. And then I think these bottom two are just some recordings, if I remember correctly, that have, uh, they're just some of the extra recordings that we chopped up. So we can probably delete these. I don't think we need those. And, oops, let's exit out, delete. Delete those. And I'm gonna do shift and five to just exchange these up just so that we still have some extra banks if we want to do anything in the, the upcoming sessions. So I think what I, I'll probably be doing in the next session is trying to do a breakdown on how we can get the right BPM and see if we can get BPM sync to work correctly so that we can have these things play in a sustained way because the way they're set up right now, they're going to eventually get out of sync. Uh, another option would be to just chop them so that they're all the exact same length. That's also a possibility. So I'm going to think about it and I'll get back to you guys in the next session. So hope that helps you guys out, shows you some things you can do to make kind of some free form, freestyled uh, samples, and you can still kind of play this stuff out. It's super fun and uh, have, have a good one. Keep making beats, guys. Peace.